Hi everyone, this is a free roam reading. We're going to see what is coming through for you and which direction the reading takes us in. The title of the reading will give you an indication for sure and I just wanted to mention this is for all star signs. So if you're here, can be a sign in itself and uh, also if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Um, personal services for different, um, you know, boosting different areas of your life, uh, black magic removal or healing work is, is all on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com as well as the personal readings I do and the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with so you can check out the review section actually for that at the bottom of my website there's items for various areas of your life and then items like bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels you know embroidered cards crystals candles sage bundles etc you know um, so everything's always there and do check it out if you're interested all right so let's have a look and see okay what a way to start. What a way to start. You know what? There is a sense here of someone who very, very clearly, I mean, they just, they, they, they want to have control over the situation. They really do, right? They want to have control because in their life they've had very little control over things. And so now they have this um, neediness for control to look at the things that you're doing, to observe what you're doing, where you are, what you're doing. I mean, it's not exactly the healthiest of energies, let's be honest, but I feel like this is this can be very much so online, you know, they can be watching over your social media and just seeing, you know, who are you hanging out with? What are you doing? Where do you work? You know, things like this. I don't sense necessarily that this person means you harm, however, if you're in a situation, okay, where you know that this person does harm you, please seek support, okay? Please seek support. I'm reading for so many people here. So obviously, you know, everyone's in a different boat, especially when it gets to, you know, if, if, if I get like 10 views on this, right? That's 10 different people. Uh, granted, you know, maybe um, it's, it's eight because two people click off, you know? <laughs> but the thing here is that when it gets to a point where it's like more than, let's say, you know, 10 people that watch this reading, obviously these, these can be 10 similar situations, but they can still be different, right? So that's the main thing here is that if you find that this person is being really, really toxic towards you, then you have to take action accordingly. But what I see for many of you is that to a degree, it's harmless because they just like to, you know, go on social media and look at what everybody is doing and things like that. Um, so, you know, and, and the thing about social media is now you can find out where people work, you know, <laughs> people have like social media, you know, accounts for, for um, things like that as well, you know, businesses or even on LinkedIn, you know, you can find where people live. Um, oh my gosh, you can find where people live as well. Yeah. You, well, I was going to say you can find where people actually work, but it came out as live, but it's true. You can technically, right? So it's, it's one of those things where, you know, they just are curious. I'd say that they're more so curious then they are wanting to harm you. Although we do have the devil, okay? And for some of you, I think it's a warning just to keep yourself um, protected. You know, for example, if you don't want people looking over your social media, make features private, um, which is very important and things like that because you can turn settings on and off and stuff like that. Okay, so, you know, what I think is really, really important here is that I don't sense a terrible energy with this person. I just, I just want to say that. I feel like, you know, the devil is more so than wanting sort of control in this situation because they feel like they have no control in this situation. They always felt like they had you wrapped around their finger, that you would always be the one to do everything. You would always be the one to be open, to be present. You would always just do everything, right? And now they're feeling like you're not. You're much more focused on your work, yourself, your life, your happiness, your goals. And they're thinking, oh no, but you're not doing so much towards me. And this is triggering them to actually do more. So the Six of Pentacles definitely goes to show here as well, something about their finances for sure. I feel like their finances are a little bit messed up at this time um, and they're not doing so well financially and uh, they just don't feel confident and strong. And you know who made them feel so confident and strong? Take a guess. Take a guess. Leave it in the comment section below. Who do you think made them feel confident and strong, I wonder? Begins with an M and ends with an E. Well, it's not me. It's you, right? Say to yourself, me. <laughs> Comment it down below. Comment it down below. It's an affirmation. You know, me. That's you. Um, so... You made them feel confident and strong and now they don't feel confident and strong in their life because I think that one thing definitely with the devil is that their ego is loosening and their ego is coming down um, and it's really coming down. I mean, 
let's be very honest about that we've got the magician here we've got the ace of cups and the five of swords so clearly they are feeling bad about every single time they hurt you every time they said something not nice to you every time they made you feel uncomfortable they are now starting to put together the puzzle pieces and they're realizing like oh my god i shouldn't have said that right because magician's mercury energy it's about the communication ace of cups every time that they emotionally invalidated you they're starting to understand this even if they okay are someone that has trauma and childhood issues and emotional issues are emotionally unavailable emotionally immature what i definitely pick up on here is a real sense of them actually realizing certain things they said towards you that were not good okay and they realize i cannot believe i said that to you you're the empress here. Whether you're male or female, I just want to say I read um, energies, not specifically genders. So if I describe you as the empress and, you know, you're a man, that's okay. It's okay. You know, this empress energy is, is loving, it's endearing, it's kind, it's nurturing. Okay, so, or however you identify, really, you know, I... Um, just thought I'd mention that. So five of pentacles, which is very important. Got a lot of fives here, okay? I'm just saying. The, the fives are about perspective, and their perspective towards you is changing rapidly. They want to know if you're dating someone. They want to know where you are. They want to know uh, if you would potentially still be interested in them. They, The thing is, they, they do get scared. And the reason why they're kind of looking at your social media is to see whether you are involved with someone else. Because if you are, then you know, they, they just feel like, oh my God, that's too difficult to then come towards you and potentially be rejected. They don't deal very well with rejection. It's definitely not their cup of tea. Let me just tell you that for sure. Seven of Pentacles. They definitely think about you. Five of Cups. Yep, they feel upset, okay, about some of the things that they've told you. And they also are financially suffering right now. So it's another thing to keep in mind. On the outside, they can show that, oh yeah, I'm good. Finances are good. Life is good. Everything's good. On the inside, they're really, really concerned about their money situation, their finances, and things like that. We've got here the King of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Wands. We also have the Nine of Cups. And we also have here the World Card as well. Okay. Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords. Yeah, okay, so definitely matches what we've said here. Um, world card, they see you as really the one, you know, the one in the center. Eight of Cups, they feel awful for how they've treated you. The Ten of Swords here clearly, clearly indicates as well this sense of just feeling, you know, really terrible uh, and terribly frustrated as to what has happened. Ace of Wands, they wonder if there is a way to restart this entire connection and to bring things to... Uh, progression we also have here as well the king of pentacles i think they are becoming a bit more mature for sure and they're making those connections they're making those links right to realize like oh my god i shouldn't have said that particular thing i should have been more understanding i should have been more respectful no one else has supported me and they are watching you in that way noticing all the ways in which they hurt you um and um you know, they have regret, I will say, they have regret, but do you know what's really interesting? Their money is not doing very well, so all of those things that sort of build up their ego are coming crashing down right now. You know when someone has an ego and they just are like, oh, I'm on top of the world, everything's always amazing, it's always good in my life, it's like, it's not for them at all. Um, well, that's interesting to pick up on, I mean, their finances are such suffering. Um, do, 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 do. I'm scared to let my guard down. Oh, this way. Sorry. <laughs> wrong, wrong way around. I'm scared to let my guard down. You challenge my beliefs. So I think in the past, what's really quite obvious here is that you were so much more mature and are still so much more mature than them, right? And so you challenge their beliefs. Like they, I think, thought from, from a very childlike perspective because of childhood issues and how they were treated as a child and also how their family were towards them whereas you are much more stable within yourself so you challenge them in that sense you know that that is something like whoa that's like a lot for them so 
And that's what we see there, which is also why they've had a lot of fear, you know, really finding it hard to let down their guard, have vulnerability and securities with you. You know, they, they just have found it very hard to open up, but now they're realizing that actually this is what life is all about. It is about someone who is actually, you know, strong and understanding and kind and caring and nurturing. And that is the true power in life. And look what we have here. Please forgive me, right? Regret is what we are seeing here. Okay, so this is your reading and... Um, What's the, what's the magic word? M-E. It's you, okay? It is you. Who made them feel just so understood? You did, right? So say to yourself, me. It was me. Comment it down below. Um, but yeah, if you claim this reading, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, comment down below, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items. Um, you know, ev the everything is honestly linked down below. I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so. I post short readings on there every single day and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye everyone. I just realized I didn't even stop recording, did I? <laughs> I was going to take the thumbnail. Bye, everyone.